What's the difference between on, in, onto, and into? Do I have to add two? Does it matter to make a difference? What's the meaning of life? In this video, we'll answer all of those questions, but first we need to focus on the prepositions on and in. Where is Ali? He is inside or in the pool. Where's Tom? Outside or out of the pool. Where's the fish? On a plate. Where is my phone? In my pocket. So, in, out, off, on, they show the location of objects. My phone is in my pocket. Ali is in the pool. But if we talk about movement, from off to on, or from out to in, then we must add to. For example, I put a fish onto the plate. I put the tweezers into my pocket. Do I have to add two? Couldn't I just say, I put the fish on a plate, I put my phone in my pocket? Yes, you could say that. But that's why we use to, to show movement. Now be careful, we say on to something, but we don't say off to something. It's just off. The same with into, that's okay. Out to, no. Here's your test. So Ali and Tom are peeing, but where are they peeing? One of them is peeing in the pool, one of them is peeing into the pool. Did you guess correct? Ali is peeing in the pool because that's his location. He is in the pool. Tom is peeing into the pool because his pee is going from out to in the pool. I know that was a gross example, but when someone asks you what the difference is, you'll remember. See you next time. You can support and vote on future lessons of Papa Teach Me. Click this link for more details. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Tom, you're lost, aren't you? Yeah. yeah can... um, try that one again. But that doesn't mean every phrasal verb with up means increase. Sometimes the meaning is random and... To give the feeling of suspicion, they'd say, I think they are up to something. That's one meaning, here's another. Oh, and the meaning of life is pancakes.